Hey guys, this is Canadian Stealth. And welcome to our van tour. This is our tiny house on the wheels. It sits on a Chevy Express 3500. Recently, we just got this chassis because this box was built out two years ago and it was sitting on GMC Savannah chassis. But that's a different story. If you want to see the conversion, you can go check the link above. We called this home already for nine months. Me, my wife Ashley, our dog Yuki, and our hamster Buttercup is living in here full time. Winter, summer, spring, fall doesn't matter it's four season man how you see there's not much windows in this build because we try to keep stealth as possible so it looks more like a work truck at least from one side because we do travel a lot for work and how you see this side looks totally stealth sometimes we are parked on a street and if cars driving pass by they will not see any windows and we can easily stay in the cities that's why you call it Canadian stealth Come farther. This is our back. We have entry through the back as well. Mainly we use these doors, doors all the time, not so much in winter time. This is our spare tire on old chassis. It was underneath, but we have fuel tank under there, so the spare tires stay there. Looks like Jeep. <laughs> so on this side, you see we have one window and a shower vent. Uh, this window is totally enough to get sunlight in in a box underneath the box we have a toolbox where we have a generator just in case we run out of power and stuff we haven't used it actually it's broken but uh, and as well we have a uh, fuel jug there and extra cables and it has v8 6 liter vortex engine if you know those engines you know they are pretty reliable Let's get on the roof I will show you what we have on the roof on the roof we have six solar panels each solar panel is 100 watts and we have as well three roof vents and when we are in wilderness we put Starlink on the roof to get access to internet when we drive we take a, take it off because it's not fixed permanent there I'll show you inside we like to collect number plates okay let's come in outside is really cold Alrighty, so this is our corridor, the entrance and exit. Uh, we have a little lights here too, to make it brighter. So if you come here, so here we store jackets, there's a toolbox in a corner as well, with all kind of tools. We store helmets for our work, our boots, uh, extra heater just in case something goes down with, with the main heater. You talk about the kitchen okay since you you built it <laughs> okay we'll switch little kitchen area we wanted to make a little artwork here on the countertop we had a lot of two by two leftovers we kind of like cut them in little pieces and glued it on the plywood and made a countertop out cut out the sink put an epoxy everywhere so it's waterproof then we use a sticker tile for a black flash backsplash back back splash yeah <laughs> so as all kind of fits together with this countertop. Ashley chose this golden faucet. I also chose the granny backsplash because I'm into granny core. I think it looks very good, uh, shiny. We have pretty deep sink as well because sometimes we are lazy to wash dishes and we are on the go. So we just can store all the dishes in here. And as well, you can wash your hair in the sink if you really want to. And then we have as well pull out faucet. Underneath we have really simple water system. We have two five gallon jugs uh, with the fresh water and then we have one five gallon jug for gray tank. So it's all inside so we know we're camping and living in a van in winter time so we don't want any water storage underneath the box so they can froze and we don't want to deal with that so everything stays warm in here nothing frees up and very simple then we have as well all our uh, two brushes in here and all kind of white vitamins and food storages and dogs food storage as well 
So we have three cabinets here. One cabinet is for the for hot sauces. <laughs> and then we have another cabinet for uh, spices. We're well seasoned in this camp. <laughs> oh, we're well seasoned. <laughs> then we have middle apartment, a uh, little plumbing system that goes to the shower just in case I need to change out something. I can easy access and as well all the electrical because we have our lights connected in this panel or shower went, water pump, then our electrical battery reader, how much battery we have and everything and at the moment it's minus 5 degrees outside, inside is 16 degrees Celsius. Farther we move to the couch. So this is our couch area where we like to hang out, watch movies, sit around, read books journal these cushions well robert's actually cut up cut the shape of the cushions but we got the covers custom made so that we can unzip them and wash them same with the pillows we got these i think from walmart i don't remember where we got them from and this is his little hockey cover here we do have some usb outlets here this is also where we turn on our battery if we want to run our oven or um, our starlink or other things like that inverter or inverter, sorry, that's our inverter. Uh, this is for the backlight, so that when we are camping, if we want to go out, we can have a backlight in the back of the camper that shines the light for us. Here, Robert's actually set up a really beautiful map. I don't know where you found this uh, map. On Etsy. It was on Etsy? Very beautiful. Basically, they gave us a little stencil and we just glued it on and it's actually held up pretty well. So I feel like it goes with the decor of this area. And then obviously, so we don't die, you know, a little detector there. Um, underneath the couch, we have Yuki's crate area. This is our dog, Yuki. Um, this is where she sleeps at night. Um, well, that's where we want her to sleep at night. She's mostly in our bed. <laughs> um, this is where she sleeps and she plays. She has her little treats in there, her toys. Um, we also put LED lights in there for her. This little step place here was built for me because I'm only 5'3 and this is actually quite tall so I have to literally rock climb into this couch so it's a little and the couch is built up higher because uh, of the size of the Yuki so she have enough space underneath the couch these stairs also double as storage space so we keep a lot of our doggy stuff in here like Yuki's raincoat we also keep our snow chains in here for when Robert goes ice climbing, the a recent hobby he's taken up. And then we also keep some outdoor gear like work gloves, um, ski masks, um, winter hats and stuff, gloves. Um, yeah, and our vacuum is under here as well. So it's a pretty nice storage space. Also, this couch doubles as a bed uh, like this. You can have a little bed here for guests. If, uh, if anyone wants to come and sleep over, they can sleep here. I think it's as big as a double bed, um, feels like a double bed to me, maybe a twin, a little bit bigger than a twin, a little bit smaller than a double, but it can fit me and Robert's on here, so. Sometimes we just pull out the couch and then watch movies. If you get into a fight, it's a second bed, you don't have to sleep in the same bed, so. And that have happened. <laughs> and it's nice. It's the kitchen, the food area, because you know I like to eat. So we have all of our cereals here, we've eaten all of our grains, but usually we have oatmeal, rice, beans, lentils, we have some brown sugar here that we like to eat. This is our fruit basket that Robert installed. This countertop is actually custom made by Robert, he made it in the driveway. Um, it was It's really nice, it's supposed to be mountains. This is an oven that we got, we cook our chicken in here sometimes some beef. This is our very messy storage space for our kitchen stuff. Robert's has a lot of memories and Polaroids up here. And obviously our cooking vent. So let's put a lot of stuff out of there. So here's our very messy kitchen space. We keep our pet foods here, dog foods, dishes. Robert's has hidden sweetie snacks that he's hiding, I found just now. Pots, pans, dishes, just anything that has to do with the kitchen, we keep in there. We also have little drawers here. This is where we keep like our utensils, eating stuff, knives. Here we keep like miscellaneous stuff, mostly stuff for camping. Like we have <laughs> compasses in here. And then we have, you know, just like little tools and stuff that we would need. A little lighter there. Down here is where we keep our oil. Oh my God, Robert, that doesn't look like oil. What's that, mister? <laughs> I'm hiding all of Robert's hidden stuff in this room. 
we keep all of our oil here, um, our hoisin sauces, sometimes our mustard, ketchup, stuff like that. This right here is our Robasto gas heater. Um, I have no idea how it works, but Roberts does have an installation video on our channel if you want to watch it. it. Just takes a little bit of our gas and gives us some nice dry heat. It's amazing in the, in the winter here. It dries out the camper really well, but you know we have to use nozzles to circulate the heat, but it works really well. Down here is our fridge. Um, it has two compartments. This is the fridge compartment. This is the freezer compartment where we keep all of our meats and frozen veggies and stuff like that. Robert's put a lot of little magnets on here from all the little trips we went on um, and that he's went on. It works really well, keeps everything frozen. It's never let us down and unless I accidentally unplugged it and didn't plug it back in, but we're not gonna talk about that. I've never done that, I'm perfect. This is uh, our hamster's enclosure that I designed. Robert's helped me build it. Um, it's 1,000 square inches. She has a wheel in there, her little house. Lots of space to run around, and she's very happy in there. Always running around and causing messes everywhere for me to clean. Now we're moving to the shower part. This is where we clean ourselves. Not most of times, but sometimes. How you see, we have plenty of space here. I would say it's even too big. Next time if I would build something, I would definitely build something smaller takes a lot of space here in the van we could utilize in different way but it is what it is we don't use a lot this shower uh, most of time most of times in summertime we have used in the fall but we haven't used in winter time yet um, we haven't been that dirty we always find some gyms and stuff you probably wonder what is this well we had a normal thing like every shower has it hot cold but it was built so cheap and last winter it froze up and it broke so I just exchanged with one valve which is from metal and it, we only use cold water anyways because our water heater broke down too so it's just cold water and that's it very simple now we're stepping in our bedroom but to step in our bedroom we have these little letter i built that was the last build i did on this van i think and uh you just kind of hook it up on the frame of the bed and you just step it in like this but before that, I want to show you and tell you that it's just a double bed here, uh, a double mattress frame we build it ourselves too. We wanted to make really homey here, so we have like a starlight ceiling on the top, which took us like three days to build it. It's a lot of dog hair now there, but that's all right. Our dog sometimes sleeps in winter time with us because the floor gets really cold. Then we have a little Canadian maple leaf, uh, a wren, a little neon light around it so it looks more homey then we have as well a little storage area there things for Ashley and for me and we have a little cupboard as well here what lifts up and we have heads there and all kind of other storage area for other things there if you go a little bit closer there we have build out as well on a headboard for ourselves so it's nice soft and comfy if you go behind this wall we have our control panel for our uh, heater so we don't need to leave the bed in the morning when it's all cold here we just push the button and the heater runs then we have little pockets there where we can store our phones at night and other stuff and then we have as well a roof vent up there nice for hot summer days now we're gonna move underneath the bed this all is my side this most of all is Ashley's side and we can open like this and then it kind of folds so you can still kind of get out and in. So here I have all my clothes, my pants, my shirts, my sweaters, everything. Underneath is a little drawer which pulls out. And here I have all my work clothes. Another nice thing I found on the internet is this light. Oh, when you move it turns on it has this sensor and you can charge with usb cables you don't need to run any cables there it just stays there and when you open the door it turns on and when you close it it shuts off it's really nice light and then you move to another compartment you open these doors and we have all our boots there ski boots some other things and as well these door folds just like other doors the same thing is on the other side I'm not gonna get on the other side because that's all Ashley's clothes and I just don't wanna get in her privacy. <laughs> so yes, this is our storage area underneath the bed. Let's go farther. Welcome to our cabin. Nothing really 
different than other GMC Savannas or uh, Chevy Express vehicles. For us, it's a little bit different because the old chassis, what we had, was GMC Savannah, and it was from 2003. So it was much, much older. Again, the Chevy Express is from 2016. So we have cruise control, we have automatic lights. I think that's it. Other thing what we change out here is the seat covers. Right here in the middle, Yuki usually sits when we drive in. We have a nice little cushion there and her favorite blanket. So it's nice and comfy right for her too. And we have as well wireless backup camera. So when we drive, it's always on. We can see who's behind us and as well for backing up. It really helps us. And I think that's it for the cabin because it's really simple as well. Very simple. Everything's very simple in this filled out truck and this cabin and everything else. Okay. <laughs> Before I let you go, I want to tell you a short story why we live van life. So back in 2016, when I lived back in Europe, I had this crazy dream to move to Canada and work on the road, live van life. And then in 2018, I got my first work visa and I moved to Canada. And that's where I met Ashley. We got married and I continue do my trade here in Canada. I'm a rope access technician. I do a lot of industrial climbing, work in refineries, on wind turbines, bridges, buildings, etc. And uh, when pandemic started, I found this first box truck and I purchased it and we started to build out in pandemic time. We didn't know nothing about carpentry, electrical, plumbing, none of that. So it took us two years to build out this truck and she's very homey, I will tell you that. And uh, recently we moved from Ontario to Alberta to be closer in the mountains, in the nature I always been dream of, and uh, learning about climbing, rock climbing, ice climbing, climbing the summits. And we have recently done these kind of activities as well, which are awesome and beautiful. Van life in general here in Canada, I would say it's pretty easy because there's a lot of open land where you can stay and you don't need to pay for nothing and just enjoy the nature. What we do on our YouTube channel, we just travel, work on the road and I like filming a lot, I like photography, videography. So if you're interested in something like that, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was our van tour. Don't forget to like and share this video. Leave some comments down below. What do you think? Or maybe you have some questions about some things. We try to answer every comment. Something like that. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.